All right, here we go. So it is Friday. And not only is it Friday, but it is uh, something I usually do on Wednesdays, and now it's Friday. And so one of the things that I'm doing today is I'm kind of bouncing back and forth from my uh, Facebook page to um, the church's Facebook page and the church's uh, website. Reason being is because this past week, um, we have had a bunch of discussions here in California on uh, about our restrictions that we have for the virus, and um, things have just barely, barely changed here in L.A. County. And for us, it is how they are closing restaurants and bars and stuff, and you can still do takeout, and um, it's just a few uh, minor, minor things. For us, we are always doing our part for uh, following in safety protocols, such as um, hand sanitizers and thermometers and te checking temperature and just stuff like that. And so there's things that everyone must do to stay safe. And it's not just here in California, but it's probably everywhere that each and every one of you is located at. And so uh, what I want to do is just kind of hook up with the, a thought process of, if I may, um, and there's just a lot of things happening. Um, uh, one of the things that we had conversation this week is, you know, should we stop doing certain things because of the virus? And um, I'm not going to make political jokes or anything like that. If you want political jokes, you can find them. It's what's happening here in California. It's easy to find. Um, but joking aside there's things that we have to do and things we had to always look out for and at our church i was telling people you know what we need to um, just kind of watch out on things of what's taking place always be in constant communication with individuals on what we're doing and what we're not doing and so on wednesday we actually uh, uh called on tuesday we heard about these restrictions uh we weren't sure what was going to take place it is, I don't know about you guys, but it's very confusing. You have to go to different websites. They send you to different websites. This one says this, this one says this here it almost kind of contradicts or it makes it very confusing. I get a headache trying to read all this stuff, but I still had to find out some uh, kind of information. And so in doing that, um, uh, Hey Mark, uh, I see Mark's, uh, coming on. I hope you have a blessed day too. Um, with uh, your family and a wonderful Thanksgiving. And I'm going to get to that in just a moment on a good Thanksgiving. But for us, uh, we canceled Wednesday night church looking at what was taking place. Um, our associate pastor uh, who does worship pastor Mark, he's leading us in uh, the book of Genesis and really digging and showing deep things, different uh, stories and stuff from it as we are going through the book of Genesis. But we did pause for uh, Wednesday um, telling people that um, we're really looking into what we need to do. There's my phone. Um, so just kind of uh, pardon that. Uh, so anyways, uh, doing uh, no Wednesday night, I kept looking and lo and behold, um, we can still have church. Um, we meet all the criteria that we have been doing. And so we're going to continue. In fact, once I get done here, I got to go and fill in the hand sanitizer station. Um, I stop by it, I check, and I stop by it and notice that it's being used. And so, got to refill that. But, so, if you're watching um, via our webpage for the church, we are having Sunday morning service. Um, uh, last Sunday, man, I, big fat fingers, I'm doing stuff on the computer. I have everything going live. Everything was about to be there. And I went to go from editing our screens for worship to going to presentation mode. And once I hit the button wrong, I knew it immediately. I, I've done it many times before. And it just put a picture up on my computer, put a picture up on the screen, and I could not move it. And so then I had to shut the computer down and I could not get it to boot up. Uh, fast enough to go live. And that's what happened last week for our worship service. 
Fat Fingers will be away from all the keys for this coming service. Now, as for me and things that are taking place with our families and stuff, um, you know what? And I hope she still does it. Uh, uh, my sister Carrie for, you know, it's I think it's 11 years now where um, we have enjoyed sharing Thanksgiving. We don't get to go to the Midwest and, you know, everything's expensive. Doesn't get to go to the Midwest and share with our families. Um, we make phone calls and stuff. But Carrie every year has come down the mountain from Flagstaff and has joined our family for Thanksgiving. And so um, I'm kind of really uh, hoping that she'll still do that again this year. Um, Carrie, if you are going to watch down the road, uh, last year um, we have played uh, old Nintendo, as in, I want to say it is the Super Nintendo. Not the first one, but the second one. So we played uh, Super Nintendo and Lion King, Aladdin, um, some other games on that. And so introducing the kids the old style school of playing video games. We bought a new TV and it's like, wow, we couldn't hook it up. I couldn't figure out how to hook up the oldest system to such a brand new TV. And uh, then uh, so we brought out an other old TV. So we had TVs everywhere playing, watching and having fun for Thanksgiving last year. And so when she left, I actually found the piece that I was that I needed to go from an old system into our new TV. So if she comes down the mountain, brings that that game system, we are on course to watching stuff and playing on the big TV with uh, this year's Thanksgiving. They're already talking about our our. We have a game that we played called Fishbowl, where it's charades and and it's charades. Oh, oh man. You do three different things during this game to describe the same word throughout the the, the game uh, time frame. And so we're going to do that again this year. The grandkids are already asking about doing that that are here. And so we're going to do that um, this year as we celebrate Thanksgiving. Connie's favorite holiday. And with Connie's favorite holiday, we have already chimed in the things that we would, hey, are we having this? I mean, because I don't know about you guys, but some people are just kind of really downsizing their Thanksgiving activities. And so and we kind of are too, uh, not really inviting uh, uh, other friends over or anything like that, but just kind of, uh, like I said, usually it's just Carrie then. And so, uh, in that we're putting in our requests. And so Carrie, if you're listening, go ahead and put your request in what you and Mikey want to take back up the mountain, which she always does every year. And so, uh, um, but we kind of got our little things in, always including eggnog and stuff like that. And a taffy apple salad, uh, Michelle's is uh, uh, spaghetti salad. Yeah, real Thanksgiving things that we have, but these become our traditions over the years. And so we're having those and putting in our request. Connie um, uh, uh, had already practiced. She had made a homemade from scratch pumpkin pie. And so it was awesome. It is gone, but now we move on to uh, Thanksgiving as it's coming up. And with that happening, um, it just reminds me to be thankful. I've been talking to many people um, in our community here um, at my office at the church. Um, just there's still reasons to be thankful. And so, man, just look for that little thing. Be thankful for something. And as you're thankful for it, uh, also um, help someone else. Maybe they have the opportunity to be thankful. Also, um, if you um, are one who prays, pray for our associate pastor, uh, Pastor Mark. Uh, man, he tweaked his back. And if, and having a back injury myself, um you just understand the pain. And he described it this way. Sometimes he is just, to me, is funny. He he has this great humor. Um, and But it was funny this way. At the same time, dealing with his pain, we have to laugh a little, to, he and I together. And it was, here is his description. If you can picture the monkeys in The Wizard of Oz, that's how I was walking into the ER today or the doctor's office uh, yesterday or today um, to have them look at his back. And so uh, I could just picture, if you could go back to that one with oh, uh, Garland 
and uh, that era of uh, the Wizard of Oz, those flying monkeys. That's how he was walking around. So pray for him. Hopefully his back will be well um, for Sunday. Uh, he and I are going to have conversation because if it's not, that means, guess what? I'm also going to help um, uh, in worship. Maybe I can get a boomer to uh, uh, lead it out or something like that. We'll have to look at things. Every With everything that's happening uh, throughout all these many weeks, we just kind of check in on what we need to do. And so, um, oh, how cool. I, uh, yeah, I'm just kind of reading through comments as I'm getting ready to uh, uh, move on. And uh, yeah, I see a gentleman by the name of Mark uh, going to get baptized. That is so cool. Um, wow. Oh, wow. Pastor Paul. And so, yeah, that would be really cool. He would really, really enjoy that. Pastor Paul is a, a friend of ours from uh, the Pekin uh, First Church of God uh, era. And uh, he is up in Michigan. And I know they're doing well. Man, that would be really cool. Uh, Mark, if you could head up there and, and make that trek. Like I said, there's people making treks. Um, in fact, driving driving to my office this morning, I see this car, you know, kind of like double parked. And that, that's not uncommon out here in LA, but double parked. I'm like, man, what's going on? And they got their, their uh, back end open on the car, uh, on the minivan or whatever. And, and it's in an area... Uh, where we live then there's a lot of people that are trying to sell food right outside their uh their yard they got all their grills and stuff hooked up big signs now um selling stuff out their yard i thought maybe that's what it was nope the closer i got it was someone hooking up to someone hooking up to uh uh go on a trip that was suitcases in the back. So yeah, make a trek. You know, make somebody happy this Thanksgiving. Uh, share the love. Share the love. And if there's people um, that can uh, do that, uh, go ahead and, and do it. And uh, if you can, talk about the things of the past, you know, and, and be reminded of the things of the blessings of our childhood or the blessings of the, the uh, friendships that we have had over the years and and with that you can just bless upon someone else man it is i'm gonna let my time expire here um i just am praying for people uh not only during this time frame for uh health for finances and for um just the coming together uh draw close to someone and uh, and share your love with them. Share God's love most of all. God bless everyone. And I will talk to you. It will be a Wednesday night thing. Except actually we're not going to have Wednesday night. Because it is going to be the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. We always um, uh, drop out of that Wednesday night. To spend it with family. And that's a good thing. And so that's what's going to happen for our next Wednesday. So I probably. I Maybe I'll slide in a, a hello again Wednesday. I'm trying to, to do those quite often. But slide in a hello again Wednesday. It might be a hello again Wednesday. It's a Friday thing or a Tuesday thing. But hey. Take care everyone.